hello welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back and as always thank you for the support i really do appreciate it so today i thought i'd have a play with these um sentimentally yours dies i just picked these up the other day um i think they are um an older release um they're from the stately collection and they're the double debossed um essential squares i'm also going to be bringing back in the charming octagons that i've got and I'm also going to be having a little bit of a play with these visible image stencil and stamps. Tying them in it all together, hopefully. We'll see how it goes. Just get rid of that because that's from the last video. Apologies about that. Okay, so um, I've made myself a um, seven and a half inch card blank. And that's mainly due to the size of the largest die. So I'll just bring these out. And as always, they do come on this um, magnetic sheet for storage. So that's great if you uh, if you struggle for storage. It's um, you know always fantastic when the manufacturer or the provider of these dies comes up with a way of storing them for you. So let me just check. I did think that that was going to be the one. So I'm going to pop this onto here. Let's grab some tape. I'm going to pop some at the top. What I'll do is I'll just use my knife and cut off that excess there. So I'll pop that there, I'll probably need a bit of that later. And while well, I'm just getting the dies ready, so this next one down, I think I want this one, which is the next one but one. Yeah. So this is going to go on to here. Again, I'm going to tape it down. And I also, let's pop that out of the way a second, want to bring in these octagons again on the magnetic sheet. And I think I'm going to go with this size. I think that size would be too big, yeah, for what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go with this one. And this is going to go down in this bottom corner. I'm trying to get it sort of even on this side and that side. And try and get it as straight as I can. Hopefully it's not going to move too much. So let's bring in our big plates. I think I've got the machine on already. Yep, the machine's ready to go. The way and put this on and in, and I'm just using the bigger plates because we've got the bigger, bigger pieces here, and that's going in. crunchy noises down check if that's still where I want it to be oh, let's just have a look I don't think I need to actually put the embossing thing through because it came out perfectly when I did a trial before and I don't know if you can see just that lovely debossed edge around sort of quite prominent there so that is what I was very excited about so I'm going to do the same again on this piece here just make sure just want this to be right about there let's pop them together and then they are set and I will pop that one through I 
and then the rest of my die cutting I'm probably going to get away with the smaller plates okay so let's just move that out of the way that one out of the way can see it's debossed it nicely because it's come through on the other side. And then I've got to pop this out gently. There we go. And I've still got my border coming round and then I've got my cut out piece there. So let's just pop that to the side. And for my squares, that's their job done on this card, with them being really the sort of background focal piece of this card. I can now just pop those completely out of the way, their job is done. So we'll just pop those over there for a second. I need those again shortly. So I'll just peel that off. And I'm going to keep that there so I know which one I used. Okay, so if I bring my trimmer in, and if I start with this smaller bit, first of all, I've got this card. This card has come from uh, what we call a pound shop. Uh, America, you probably call it a dollar store. Um, it's a probably about 200 GSM. Uh, weight cards so it's not heavy so this is just going behind this um, so that is six I'm guessing that's going to be six exactly so I'm just going to take that to um, let's go two notches above the six just checking just because that's a lighter paper I think is um, it's my trimmer's not cut it quite so nicely so let me just clean this out here so this is just a, um, a pokey tool that I got with the um, dime, not diamond art the, the actual sticker one so and it's just perfect for cleaning out There, so I'm just gonna pop another piece of this back in, just see whether it's gonna cut it nicely. No, it's not. Okay, so let me just pop over to my other trimmer. Now you have to forgive the look of it. It's um, ancient, oh, ancient. It's ancient years old. I won't press the just sticking bits and pieces on it, but it still does the job. And uh, this is a, a crosscut one. So, just going to put my little arm in. And I'm just going to take that edge along. And just need that. Up. that one. Just don't want all that feathering. As you will see it once it's coloured, uh, which is what I'm going to do with it. So we've just got that narrow border round okay and then we've got this piece here which is one notch over the seven so again with another piece of that same card you can see it's uh, a lot lighter and I'm going to take this to two, three. I'm going to go four notches over the seven just so we've got a bit of variation in our layers and that should be a slightly wider one and it is okay so let's get rid of this one like I say apologies that is the oldest one I have it still cuts fantastic um, so you know if ever that was an advert for a trimmer um, considering the amount of abuse I give them um, you know, it definitely is worth a uh, worth a buy on one of those it's just it's so big and uh, 
I struggle with heavier things now so okay so I'm going to take this first layer and uh, which is the lighter card so I've got my embossed one there and I'm using a classic um, pen and I'm using Maple GB3 and all I'm going to do is just go down this edge and this is kind of like a sort of brownie yellow which is going to tone in with my inky piece that I do and it doesn't matter if any bits get on my mat here because it will it will dry this is a new pen but you can see it's still a little bit streaky so if you haven't got this uh, GB3 um, either go for a lighter yellow or a more honey yellow or um, you could use the the um, inks instead. I am going to be doing some inking, but um, I did. I wanted it slightly different on this outside piece. So then we've got this piece here, and I'm doing exactly the same on there. Just go around. Just go around twice on there because it's just. And I'm going to be stamp, uh, stamping and colouring with um, Honey Pot, Crafter's Companion, and also Friar Brown. Uh, that's what I'm going to be using with the, the actual um, the actual bit that I'm going to do. I think I'm also using Straw Bale as a base colour as well. Okay, so we've got those two bits there, and it looks messy, but don't worry. So, um, you know, these bits are going to be hidden behind there. You're not going to see any of that, so it's not worth wasting any more of your ink or time trying to get um, fill in the whole thing, basically. So, okay, so now I'm just going to do a little bit of assembling um, just to start with. So I'm going to bring in that card blank. I don't know how much more glue I've got in this one. It's running a little bit low. Now this is the all-purpose Crafters Companion one. So we're going porous card to porous card, so there shouldn't be any issue. And I'm going to be doing it as a tent fold card because there will still be a fair amount of weight on there, even though we've used these lighter cards. Um, you could always gut these if you wanted to gut some of these layers and uh, preserve your card that way. And the other thing you could do if you wanted a sort of more uh, sparkly finish, you could use pearl card as well. Uh, but just watch if you're using the all purpose glue if you're using pearl card because it can mess with those, those finishes. So we've got this piece on there um, and then this piece is going to go onto here but I do want this one raised so I'm going to bring in some of this um, foam tape. Uh, I don't know if you've seen any of my videos but uh, this I'm not sure where mum got it from um, but she got it following a video with Linda Chapman so it was a company that she had recommended. It wasn't Linda's company, it was another one. Uh, and it was a huge, huge reel. Uh, it's probably about two to three millimetres thick, I would say, I guess. Uh, I'm just going to start to give this a little bit of elevation. Let's just get rid of that. It's always got a bit of foam tape, so we're going to have to have this tacky glue just to give me a little bit of wiggle time and a bit of security. And then this is going around yeah, right about in the middle. There. Okay, so the other thing I want to do before I forget with this is to bring in this black ribbon 
and I want to pop this around the top so I'm going to use a little bit of a red liner tape and if I don't do it now you can guarantee I'll forget it later on Okay, so I'm just going to pop that down, just give it a little bit of a burnish. Okay, I'll just make sure I've got the shiny side. And then we're just going to go across the top there. I might put a bow on it. Then again, I might not, I might just leave it as it is and just bring that little hint of black in because we are playing with the bumblebee. Okay, I'm just going to pop across there. I think I'll just pop a little bit of that across there just so that we don't get stuck up when we are doing the next bit so this is going to go onto here and again it's going to be raised okay so the next thing i need to do so i need to cut these out so this is the same size as the one we've cut out and i'm going to do that in black then this is going to be white and then this is the piece that we're going to be colouring and popping our bee onto. Okay, so if I grab a little piece of black first of all. Okay, so we've got these three pieces here. So this is the same size that we've cut out from there. And we're going to be doing that one in black. So I can just pop that onto there like so. And then these two pieces, they are going to be in the same um, white card, the Crafter's Companion one. So I can pop those onto there like so. So I'm probably just going to cut these into passes. So let's grab my plate. Do that one first of all. Uh, that one's going through. Hopefully that one's cut out fine. It hasn't. Curse of this machine again. Card in there as a shim. Pop that through. I think it's these plates because it works alright on the bigger plate. Maybe they've got squashed in some way. Mm, that top plate looks a little thinner. Maybe that's come from somewhere else rather than a Gemini one. I'm wondering. Maybe that's what the problem is. Okay, so that's our black one, so we'll pop that there, pop that over there so I don't lose that die, so I'm going to pop that onto there, onto there, just one bit, one I haven't, so we will just pop that shim on, and hope for the best of a waste of a bit of pearl card really but I think it's this shim I don't think it's a crafter's companion one that's what the problem is so I don't know where that one's come from it's definitely thinner let's see if that's cut nicely that one has So I'll just fold that over, pop that 
through one last time. Sorry about this, guys. I will get that plate sorted. I know I have got another plate. I just don't quite know where it is at this second. I don't know where this one's come from either. It might have been for one of the other machines we've had in the past. Right, let's have a little look at this one. There you can see that's cut out perfectly. Let's put that over there. I think that is all we need from the machines. We'll turn that one off. Okay. So this piece and this piece are going to be going on as they are. Just get rid of that bit there. And I can glue this straight away onto there. Oh, glue everywhere. Just get rid of that. Bottles leaked, I think. All right. That one too. And we'll just centralise that. Like so. And this is going to go behind here. So I think what I'll do is if I put, I'm going to take this off here now because we know we're going to be using it. Across. Yeah. And I'm going to bring in some more of that um, foam tape. Sorry, I've got glue all over my hands. just want to give this quite a, a nice amount of support because um, I want there to be a sort of viewing window so that's the point of cutting this bit out I'm going to get this ready. So I'll just pull all of these backs off. And this is quite sticky because we've had it a while. I don't know, Mum's had it a couple of years. Must be about three or four years. Um, but it's not too sticky that the back stuck to them, which is, you know, good. Okay, so I'll pop that onto there. And then I'm just going to be careful with this piece here. I just want to be able to move this into the right space. So let's just pop that there for now and then I'm going to bring this piece over the top let's centralize it over my borders and then I can bring this piece down hopefully it's not If you wanted a bit more drama then obviously don't be afraid to take that a little higher okay but I am happy with that one so this is the piece that is designed to fit into the middle of there so let's move that out of the way 
and we're going to bring this back in now i did manage to get hold of one of these brushes i didn't get it from crafters companion so it's smaller than the crafters companion one um they had sold out on crafters companion by the time i um had found out about them um so i got this from aliexpress and i think it was about three pound um, and it came really quickly so uh, i was quite pleased with that so i'm just going to pop some color on and it's super 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 smooth i mean you've never felt anything so soft in all your life it's it's absolutely gorgeous so i'm just going to go around i'm just putting this little base color which is the straw bale actually i'm going to grab myself a little bit of kitchen mold that was a new one otherwise i'm going to be mixing this ink up where i don't want it to be and i'm not doing any techniques you know i'm i've said before i am not the inky person um i just literally just put that color down Okay, so it seems that I'm still having a few tech problems, but hopefully you've not missed any of that. All I've done with this smaller white square is inked through the stencil with, no, well, inked first of all with straw bale, then inked through the stencil with honey pot. I've used this tiny uh, splat stamp um, in the fryer brown, okay, and I've got the tiny bee and I'm just going to come now with um, the water reactive jet black. I've got my um, embossing powder, which is a black rainbow. So I'm hoping that's going to be okay. Um, and I've got that ready. So I'm just going to be super quick and hope for the best. So I'm just going to ink up this cute little bee. And then we're just going to pop him on like so. Hopefully he's still wet it's not the right ink I really should be using the opaque but I don't have black opaque so let me move that onto there before I get black everywhere and I will need to stamp him again so let's just see how that's done okay just bring in a little brush I should have uh, made sure this was dry beforehand, so big mistake on my part. But I should be able to get most of it off with a little brush. And because it's rainbow black anyway, it's just going to add a little bit of sparkle in those places probably, so it's probably not going to be that much of a problem but what I would say is it should have been dried first of all I just forgot and also if you've got an anti-static pad that always helps as well see many bees around this year like one or two I did have one that got stuck in a uh, frame with my tomato I'm trying to grow a tomato plant well, I was trying to grow a cucumber and a tomato plant but the cucumber sadly alas is no more so the tomatoes in there all on his own yo with well with the dahlia Right, so I'm just going to let's get that back in the pot before we start trying to heat that up because that could be disaster. We'll see how this turns out. I might stamp it again and emboss it again. We'll see how that goes. Let's just put that lid on for a second. And the tool that I'm going to be using today 
is the uh, Ranger Heat It. Okay, it's quite quiet. You have to watch your hands. It just gets a little hot. Yeah, glittery, more glittery than I thought it would do, but that's fine. I think that's gone. So that's fine. Let's just pop that one down. Okay. And then what I think I will do is I won't use that black again. If I bring in my crystal clear. So we can set that to the side, that piece is done. And I'm going to bring in this stamp again. We will go again with the, uh, the black, if I haven't put it away. No, I haven't, that's there. And this time we will use the clear, and then I'll colour this bee in. So I needed it on the background anyway for the legs and the wings. So they are now sparkly, but it's not as crisp as I would have liked. But I can live with that. Let's get that ready. Okay. Just put that on super quick. And it's really only the body that we're after. I'll take that off. Perfect. It looks good. And I'll just pop that into there. Oops. I get the lid on. Okay. I can pop that out of the way. Just bring this back in. And we'll just do that quickly. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll bring back in this classic pen. I'm just going to go in that little space there and we just bring that colour back in. I'm sorry, Bumblebee, but you are going to lose your legs and your wings. And probably your most of your antennae too. Pretty much going to look like a beetle by the time I finish with you, but okay. So that's our little bumpy there. So I'm just going to shape him around a little bit and I'm going to use a smaller pad I think. Oops. I'm going to find a little okay. cut up there. And this is probably about a millimetre. Hopefully, not being super clumsy, and I have so we'll just cut a little bit of the pad off. And I'll pop a little bit of tacky glue on there. Put that 
over the top. Okay, so let's move that out of the way a second. We will need the sentiment, so we'll come back to that. So then we've got our little piece here, which is going to go in this centre. And again, I'm going to use that. foam tape Just going to pop that in, and you can go anywhere. I think I'll have it in going like so. Central. There we go. Okay, so that's our card coming together there. So at the moment, we've got a bit of space here, so. I've got the sentiment that I want to do, so let me pop that in there. And I'm going to go with this Be Happy. And that be Happy. So that's down there. And I'm going to grab a piece of this. Here, and I'm wondering whether I should go with this stamping station and we'll try it with the water reactive ink um, and this we might have to swap over and we'll see how it goes so I want this kind of to be level so I'm just going to use my block I'll just put that at the front and pretty much on that line. We've got our happy. Again. Oh. Honestly. Let's put it the right way. So used to doing it on the actual um, platforms now where you just pop it where you want it to go and it's the right way. Get lazy, don't you? Okay. So I'm just going to come in with this ink. Just got one shot at it, which is why I may well go to my platform. We'll see how it comes out. down no, I don't like that ink I think that's definitely the wrong ink bear with me two seconds okay so I'm going to use this um, noir black uh, waterproof dye instead so I'm just going to give that a good ink up I'm still using the block and then I'm just going to come round on the bottom there just give it a good Press down, oh, that's a bit neater. It's less, it's a bit clearer, although it's faint, uh, or you know, in places it's faint. But this is the type of stamp that it is, it is sort of made to look a bit distressed, so I am not worried about that at all. Um, but it's it was blurry before, so uh, like looked like water had got to it, so um, this is looking a lot better, okay. So I'm just going to pop, let's grab some tape, I have to decide where I want this to be, I think it's probably going to be 
Oh, there. nice so I like that I do want um, another little mat and I think I don't know whether to go for the yellow or whether to go for the black I think I'm actually going to go for the black because we have got those other black tones coming through so uh, let's I'll see how wide did I do this so this is Very nearly an inch. So if I go to an inch and two notches, I think it's an inch and two sixteenths. It's easier to say two notches. And then let's have a look at that. Yeah, and that is. One, two, three, which is just about three inches. So if I go to two notches past three, hopefully that should be quite nice. And it is. So we're going to go with that on there. And then I'm going to bring in some gems. And I do think I have got some blacky one there but not too black there are some other ones here hiding come on there you are and um, I could go in with some yellow tie up those yellows let's see what the yellows would look like that's quite a similar yellow I think I might go with the yellow you know let's get this stuck together and on and then we can decide okay so I'm going to use a little bit of um Tacky glue, just clean that nozzle, it's just got a little bit gunky. That's going on to there. And if you wanted to, you could always ink this up in the yellow as well. Really bring those yellow tones in. And a bit of cut some of this here. glue so not quite set so okay so I'm going to bring this so it's coming off the page just a little bit okay. and then I think yeah I'm going to go with these tiny little yellow gems just to bring that yellow because otherwise it's just quite black heavy and that wasn't the plan when um, when I you know sort of thought about the card so let's just pop that there and this is sort of you know like um, a tip really if you want to bring more of a certain colour in where you think oh I've gone away from that original colour sometimes just by adding the gems in that original colour that yellow like we've done here it can just really just bring the project back to where you thought it was going to go in the beginning so I'm just wondering whether to put three one two three whether to put them there I think I am going to have to put them one, two, let's go with the two and see what that looks like. And these are teeny tiny, teeny tiny glue gems. I 
and I think these are hunky dory gems as well. I think these might have come in the actual uh, goodie box. Okay. So I'm not doing any ribbon to sort of uh, any bows, sorry. So I'm going to keep it still a little bit masculine. Okay. Uh, it does sit quite nicely. So um, that's my, my finished card today. Um, I think if I was going to do it again, possibly may emboss this here with maybe a hexagon um, and add that m some more sort of patterning in. Um, for me, it kind of looks still a little bit plain. It's, it's nice and simple and I think it's it's quite a nice guy's card really. But um, yeah, I probably would um, either emboss the stencil into that. Um, so you've got that sort of those hexagons coming through or um, I have got um, an old uh, Creative Expressions hexagon one that would look nice as well so maybe if I do this again or, or anything like this um, that's where I would be looking to go um, but that's what I'm going to do for today um, next time I'm going to go back to Hunky Dory so uh, not quite sure what uh, yet uh, there's still a couple of things that I haven't had out and a, uh, a couple of craft pads and new ones that I, I did get and I've not played with those yet so I might have a little play with those um, and then after that it'll probably be crafter's companion again um, but hopefully uh, you've enjoyed watching I've given you a little bit of inspiration today um, like I say those uh, these sort of squares I do want to get the other ones in the set because I think it's just quite quite nice it's quite uh I'm trying to think of a word for posh, um, but I can't think of one. But yeah, it is a, it's quite a nice look to the cards. So, um, you know, if you've got a hold of them, then I think you're a bit jammy, really, because uh, I'm definitely going to be looking to add more to my collection. Um, but anyway, until next time, take care. Bye bye.